In a fitting tribute to the freedom fighters from Manipur, the central government has rechristened Mount Harriet at Kalapani in Andaman and Nicobar Island as Mount Manipur. But what relation does Mount Harriet have with Manipur's fallen heroes? Well, find out in this report. As Indians, we owe a lot to our freedom fighters. While most states of present-day India have their own share of contributions in the freedom struggle, Northeast's very own Manipur also played a significant role in India's independence from the colonial rulers. To say the least, the great Maharaja Kulchandra Dhwaj Singh was among those from the state who bravely fought the British during the Anglo-Manipur War. Consequently, the Maharaja and 22 other freedom fighters from Manipur were imprisoned at the cellular jail in Port Blair in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The jail was known to imprison many notable Indian freedom fighters and political activists during the struggle for India's independence. Today, the cellular jail stands as a mute spectator to the inhuman sufferings of those patriots and freedom fighters who are imprisoned in the barracks of this jail. Fast forward 74 years, the center on Saturday paid a fitting tribute to the freedom fighters of Manipur by re-christianing Mount Harriet at Kalapani, the third highest peak in Andaman and Nicobar Islands as Mount Manipur as part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav celebrations. The announcement was made by Union Home Minister Amit Shah during a public function at Port Blair in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Not just this, Shah also declared that the center will also assist the Manipur government in constructing a memorial site at Mount Manipur. Shah made the historic announcement while highlighting Manipur's significant role in resisting the British in the Northeast during the 1857 revolution and in 1891 adding the state was the only one to implement its own constitution. He also cited the examples of war heroes Yuvraj Tikendrajit and General Tangal who were publicly hanged at Imphal. Manipur ka pure purvottar mein angrejo mein angrejo ko rokne ka bahut bada yogdan tha. Manipur ne kabhi saran nahi maani di. Lardte rahe, lardte rahe. और मणिपुर एक ऐसा राज्य था जिन्होंने अपना लिखित संविधान भी लागू कर दिया था मणिपुर रहा तो अंग्रेजों के कब्जे में काफी लंबा समय मगर हमेशा उनके दांत खट्टे करने वाली लड़ाई मणिपुर के स्वतंत्र सेनानियों ने ली थी मणिपुर युद्ध के नायक युवराज टिकेंद्रजीत और जनरल थंगल को इम्फाल के फिदा में सार्वजनिक फांसी दे दी अंग्रेज मानते होंगे कि हमने व्यक्ति को फांसी देकर आजादी के आंदोलन को कुचल दिया मगर ऐसा नहीं होता है उसके बाद महाराजा कुलचंद्र ध्वज सिंह और 22 स्वतंत्र सेनानियों को कांडा काला पानी भेज दिया गया था यहां पर लाया गया था और यहां एक टापू पर उनको रखने का काम किया था वो द्वीप का नाम है एक पहाड़ का नाम है माउंट हेरियट आज हम उनकी स्मृति में माउंट हेरियट को माउंट मणिपुर नाम देकर उनके योगदान का सम्मान करना चाहते नोटेबली द सेंटर्स मूव हैज बीन वेलकम्ड होल हार्टेडली बाय मणिपुर चीफ मिनिस्टर एन बिरेन सिंह हु टुक टू ट्विटर एक्सटेंडिंग हिज विशेस टू होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह एज वेल एज प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी फॉर ऑनरिंग द हीरोज ऑफ मणिपुर Speaking exclusively to Northeast Life, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said that the center has paid a fitting recognition to the state's freedom fighters and the move has come as a proud moment for the people of Manipur. He added that the state will organize a mass celebration in all villages and districts by lighting a candle for the good health of Prime Minister Modi and Union Home Minister Shah. I, on behalf of the people of the state, 
would like to appreciate and thanks the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Union Home Minister and all other Union Ministers who recognize the martyrs of the state of Manipur. It is a pride moment of the whole Manipuris. We do not forget our forefather who sacrificed to maintain, to keep the uh, you know, sovereignty of the country and, the, so and the, the, the sovereignty of the state. We, the state government, today is going to organize mass celebration, thanking the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Union Home Minister Amishaji in all villages of the state with lighting the candles and uh, praying for them for their long life, long live, and uh, you know, the health, good health of the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Union uh, health, uh, Home Minister Amitraji. Because you know, uh, it is a long due dream of the, the entire Manipuri. Meanwhile, Assam Chief Minister Himant Bishu Sharma also took to Twitter and thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah for honoring the freedom fighters. Chief Minister Sharma said in his tweet, and I quote, renaming of Mount Harriet in Andaman and Nicobar as Mount Manipur is a fitting tribute to roles played by Maharaja Kulachandra and other freedom fighters from Northeast. Clearly, this remarkable step by the central government will play a big role in not only immortalizing the freedom fighters, but also cultivating a sense of pride for the coming generation. News Desk Report, Northeast Line.